everyone and welcome back to my channel if you remember guys when we were making the Jessica Rabbit doll here in my studio it was probably I don't know almost two years ago or something like this I told you the Jessica Rabbit was actually the most iconic cartoon female character of my childhood really like all girls in my class all girls in my school we all were drawing our paper dolls in Jessica Rabbit style we we're drawing always just one eye and the second eye was covered with hair but actually there was the second animated female character that everybody really loved as much as Jessica Rabbit and I'm talking now about Gadget Hack Ranch from the Chip and Dale show. I really loved this cartoon, I really loved this show. I was a kid and I was probably you know, six, seven years old when I was watching it. And I even had a game on this early Nintendo console. What was the name? NES? Yeah? already forgot so yeah this very first Nintendo console yes I had it when it was still new on the market I'm an old lady here on YouTube and actually the Chip and Dale and Mario Bros were the only two games that I have finished on that console because I'm not that big gamer and you know also Jessica Rabbit yes of course she's beautiful she's gorgeous she's stunning but she's still not that much relatable for a six year old girl but gadget was actually 100% relatable first of all she was more childish of course clearly the show the Chip and Dale show was targeted for kids uh, then she was extremely cute not normal really thousand percent of cuteness and I really love that she was that inventive that she was all the time making some things yeah I really loved the gadget girl and today I've decided to make the gadget hack range doll on my channel so I will start working and you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I'm trying really trying to upload them every week Friday but this is going to be a big project and the next one is going to be also a big project so I will probably have to take two weeks every time to complete them so please hit the bell button to get notified about the new videos about the new doll repaints and of course please support my art here on YouTube by hitting the like button under this video so in this being said I can start working so as a model for this project I will use this beautiful white cat monster high doll so basically it's gonna be kind of from cat to a mouse makeover today but why not I think she would look really cute as a mouse so let's quickly remove her outfit cut her hair off and then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it soft and easily removable Fun fact, by the way, this is the second time I am repainting this kind of a doll, this white cat monster high. And the last time it was also a cat to a mouse makeover, I've realized it just now. Then I turned this doll into a mini mouse. I don't know why I feel so tempted to turn this poor kitty doll into a mouse. But yes, this is exactly what we're going to do now. But first of all, I have to pull out the rest of the hair from the inside of the head. And then I will remove her face with pure acetone. The next step is turning her cat ears into cartoonish mouse ears. 
And you can see now in the picture that Gadget's ears, they first of all placed lower than the cat ears of the doll, not on the top of the head, but on the sides more. And they're also closer to the hairline because her goggles are sitting behind the ears. So I think here somewhere her new ears will be. So now let's cut the old ears off and cover the holes in her head with sticky warbler thermoplastic. I have also attached this super sticky warbler to the places where the mouse ears will be and then I will make a pair of new ears out of a softer but less sticky warbler and then I will attach them to the doll's head, to this sticky warbler on her head. Okay, here are the ears, look really nice, so now let's paint them with white acrylics. Then I will spray the head with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to make the surface matte. And after this we will start working on her new face. First of all, I cover her face and ears with light nude pastels to create a very, very basic skin tone. This layer I seal again with the sealant and then I will sketch her eyes, eyebrows and lips. Then I can continue working on her skin tone, applying shadows and highlights using the same soft pastels. And when I'm happy with the skin tone, I draw the rest of the face using my watercolor pencils.
In the end, I still want to add some blush to her cheeks and also to her nose. And then I add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics. So now the face is finished and we can start working on her body. And first of all I want to make a mouse tail for her out of Warbler Thermoplastic. Because first of all, this doll is missing her original tail, it's a second hand doll, so I'm not even sure if the tail was there when I bought it or it got lost somewhere here in my studio. But anyway, it was a cat tail, not exactly what we need today for our mouse girl, so let's make a new tail for her out of Warbler. And check it out, now it really looks like a mouse tail, so let's paint it with white acrylics. Then I will seal the body and the tail with Mr. Super Clear sealant, and then I will cover it with the same soft pastels that we've just used on her face. Okay, the face and the body look really good, and now I think we can make her hair. Gadget has ginger hair in the show, so I've picked up this acrylic yarn to make hair for my doll. I think this color is quite similar, and it will look really good in the end, trust me. <laughs> but first of all, I need to turn this yarn into hair, and for this I need to make it loose first. And then I will make it straight using a hair straightener. So, and when this yarn starts looking like a real hair, I can glue it to the doll's head using tacky glue.
so check it out this is how it looks now so i think right now i'm going to cut and style the bangs And guys, here is her finished hairstyle. I think now she really starts looking like Gadget. I told you it was the right hair color, by the way. So now let's still attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips. And after this, we will move on to the outfit and to the accessories part of the makeover. My mom is responsible for the outfit today and you can see now her making the iconic gadgets jumpsuit. Okay, here is the finished outfit and it looks absolutely adorable, guys. Exactly like the jumpsuit in the show, really. It just couldn't be more perfect for the character. My mom did a fantastic job again. And now let's make some accessories to complete the look. And I think I'm going to start with a pair of iconic blue goggles that Gadget always wears on her head. The goggles is a must. And you can see me now recreating them out of Warbler Thermoplastic. And here we go, the goggles are finished, they look super adorable and now I still want to make a giant wrench for my gadget hack wrench and I'm starting with printing one using my 3D printer. Thank you. 
And this is what we've got. It looks super cute, really not normal. All these 3D printed things are just super adorable. So now let's paint it with acrylics and then we'll move on to the most exciting part of the project. Yes, there still will be the most exciting part of the project today. So guys, the mini ranch is finished and now we will make the main star of today's project. The ranger plane. Remember this beautiful machine? Gosh guys, I was trying to make it out of an empty toothpaste tube when I was six. I suddenly remembered it so well. Really, I love this machine already for almost 30 years. Not almost 30 years, for over 30 years. And today we are going to try to recreate it again 30 years later and this time I've picked up this milk bottle, emptied it, washed it and I'm already <laughs> less happy about it than when I was in the beginning. Because when I removed the sticker I found this texture here on the body of this bottle, these ribs. I expect it to be completely smooth and the plastic is also quite soft. But you know I could find nothing better in the store. I went to the supermarket especially for this. So now let's work with what we have and we will see where it will lead us. And first of all I want to solve the issues with the bottle that disturb me. And I start with attaching a piece of thin carton above these ribs, quite on the place where the sticker used to be. And then I will cover the bottle with Warbler thermoplastic. And you can see that we've got a perfect bottle as a result, it's very smooth, it's super strong. Now I'm really happy and we can continue with the project and now I think we can cut out a hole in our bottle. Voila, this is done, looks already quite good, but I still want to seal this edge using a strap of thermoplastic. And this is what we've got and now I'm starting to get really excited guys because it looks really 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 good already now. So let's make two landing legs and you can see in the cartoon it was made out of some sink plungers something like this but I will use these old packages from LOL dolls to make the legs and I always felt I kept them for something because look we can use different parts of it to make the landing legs for our plane. If we connect them, of course, with Warbler thermoplastic. It will be just perfect. You will see just in a second what I mean.
And guys, what do you think about my landing gear legs? I don't know, this is so cool, I'm truly proud about them. And the best thing is that the plane can perfectly stand on its own, it's very stable. I don't need to add extra legs to make it more stable, it's already very very stable. Now I'm really happy about it. So now let's move on to making the wings and the tail of the plane. I've cut them already out of warbler and now I want to add some extra texture using these foam half tubes because in the movie these parts were made out of some grit. You can see this texture on the pictures. And then we attach all the wings to the plane. Oh my god, it looks already so cool, guys. I'm really overexcited right now. This is probably the coolest thing I've ever made, really. Now let's still make a chair out of thick foam and put it inside of the plane. This is where our Miss Gadget is gonna sit. And I'll set a piece of warble to the front of this cabin and this will become a control board of this plane in the end of the project. So this is where we've ended up so far and I can tell you honestly the result makes me very 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 happy right now. But yes, now we still have to make a red balloon that pulls the plane in the air. It looks like a long red sausage on the picture, so let's make the sausage out of some kitchen towels, kitchen plastic, some tape. I just want to build up some volume using very light materials. And now let's wrap our sausage in warbler. The surface still looks quite bumpy and I want it to be more seamless, more smooth, so I will cover it with a good layer of foam coat and then I will sand it all with sanding paper. Okay, this is where I've ended up with this thing. It's still not 100% perfect, but I will let it like this because I'm ready for three days here covering and sanding and it takes every time 24 hours to dry. So I think I will continue with the project like it is and I will attach this thing, the balloon, to the plane. And I still want to add a steering wheel to finish up the construction. So this is what we've made, some big machine, I can tell it's even difficult to show it completely on camera and now I think we can paint it. 
or no wait I still want to make this thing how to call it like a tail of a balloon and it will turn the sausage that we've made into an actual balloon looking thing and after this we'll finally paint it all with acrylics So guys, now our epic project is finished, I think, so we can finally take a look at the end result pictures and see what we've made today. There is just one very, very last detail. I know Gadget wears no shoes in the show, but I still feel a little bit strange leaving her just like this, so I will give her this pair of sneakers. I've bought them long ago for some special project, and this is the moment, I think, today they would fit the character just perfectly. Well guys, I think I can officially call this ranger plane the most epic construction I've ever made on this channel or maybe even the most epic construction I've ever made in my life. And I also feel like I've completed some sort of an unfinished mission from my childhood because, you know, I totally failed making the plane out of a toothpaste tube 30 years ago. And the six-year-old me would literally die from excitement seeing this doll and this plane that we've made today. So I don't know guys, where, when are they going to invent the time machine? I would totally use it to go back and to show it to the six year old me from the past. It would probably change my life. Come on Elon Musk, invent it already. I have some unfinished business in 1991, please do it already. So it was a very nostalgic project for me today and I will not even sell this doll. Well, first of all, because the plane is quite big and heavy and shipping it abroad would be quite difficult for me. And I also cannot be sure it would not break in transit. And you know, honestly, I simply don't want to let it go. It was my dream project for 30 years and that's why Miss Gadget and her flying machine are staying in my studio. I will try to display them on the background. They would look very cool there, I think. So now please tell me guys what do you think about this project? Did you watch this cartoon as a kid 30 years ago? And if you're from the same generation like me, can you tell me please who you loved most? Gadget or Jessica Rabbit? Or maybe none of them and you had some, I don't know, completely different crush. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon, or in one week, or in two weeks, but it's gonna be soon anyway, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys, have a nice weekend, bye!